Golgi vesicles are usually found in the vicinity of rough endoplasmic reticulum, from which they accept and then later process newly made packaged proteins. The processing can include adding sugars to make glycoproteins and or hydrolyzing parts of a polypeptide that are not going to be needed in the mature functional protein. Since the Golgi vesicles are kind of a way station in making proteins destined for different locations, they're going to have to sort the proteins so that they end up in the correct locations. In fact, Golgi vesicles eventually bud to become vesicles that include lysosomes or microbodies or secretion vesicles. Three techniques have been used to show how proteins made in the rough endoplasmic reticulum make their way through the Golgi to their final destinations. These techniques are cytochemistry, which is staining with chemicals that will specifically recognize packaged or membrane proteins, immunocytochemistry, whoop, here they are, which is staining with tagged antibodies that specifically recognize packaged or membrane proteins, and autoradiography. This is the detection of radioactively labeled packaged proteins so that we can localize them in appropriate organelles. This slide is a demonstration of cytochemistry. In this case, the cells have been stained for a specific secretory protein using a probe covalently linked to an electron-dense chemical tag. In other words, this stuff's going to appear very dark in the electron microscope image. The upper panel is an overview of stained cells. The lower panels are more high magnification views of parts of the cell. You can see the intense stain lying in the space enclosed by the nuclear envelope in the lower left image, in the RER and Golgi vesicles in the lower middle image, and in a very highly magnified Golgi vesicle at the right. The nuclear envelope, the RER, Golgi vesicles, lysosomes, microbodies, and secretion vesicles, and even the cell membrane make up the endomembrane system. The side of a Golgi apparatus closest to the RER in a cell is called its cis face, and the opposite side its trans face. In this cartoon of cell sections that were treated with a stain to detect a specific secretory protein, you get the impression that there's less stain, and therefore less of the protein, in the RER and the cis vesicles of the Golgi body than there is in the trans vesicles or in the secretion vesicles. Think about why that is. Also, why do some of the trans-Golgi vesicles and the lysosome drawn here appear to be empty in this cartoon? Here's the pathway of movement of proteins through these vesicles, either to the secretion vesicle and out of the cell, or to a lysosome.